This is a podcast from the Environmental Change and Security Program at the Woodrow Wilson International Center for Scholars. This is Julie Doherty from the Global Health Initiative. On May 30, 2007, President George W. Bush called for a reauthorization of the President's Emergency Plan for AIDS Relief, otherwise known as PEPFAR, which is set to expire at the end of fiscal year 2008. The plan calls for an increase in funding from the initial 2003 commitment of $15 billion to $30 billion over the next five years. Recently, the Wilson Center hosted Dr. Peter Piot. Um, I'm Peter Piot, and I'm the uh, executive director of uh, UNEADS. According to Dr. Piot, increased funding, cooperation, and prevention are necessary in order to increase the effectiveness and sustainability of the global AIDS response. Well, we're at the turning point in the uh, global response to AIDS, and I'm saying that because, one, we do have results now, so we've shown that it's possible. There has been a major um, political leadership here in the U.S., but also in other countries, in partner countries. And now we've got to move to the next phase. And we see three major um, issues that have to be addressed for the next phase um, and that are very relevant now that uh, PEPFAR is uh, being uh, discussed for reauthorization in Congress. The first one is that um, building on the successes of PEPFAR to expand the program and to increase the funding. Um, That is absolutely going to be vital, otherwise all we will be able to do is to keep the people on treatment who are today on treatment. So it has to be expanded because the epidemic is expanding. And it's really acting now or paying later. Secondly, we've got to maximize our collective effectiveness through better coordination and uh, partnerships of all the major players. And thirdly, is to add a long-term perspective uh, for a sustainable response in addition to the emergency and the crisis management. And that means also investing more in HIV prevention, dealing with the drivers of this epidemic, particularly gender inequality, and uh, supporting the building of systems, you know, health systems and community capacity. The extent of AIDS funding goes beyond individuals infected with HIV. As Piat describes, it bolsters health systems, health services, education, and helps to decrease violence against women. It's now very clear that um, increased AIDS funding has generated, for the first time in the history of this epidemic, real results for people with HIV through treatment, and then less people becoming infected. But what is uh, less well known is that uh, it is also having um, a major impact on uh, beyond uh, AIDS itself. Um, In many countries, for the first time in decades, has money gone to strengthening health systems, health services. For example, in, uh, in Rwanda, um, people are using more uh, maternal health services, um, children are better off uh, reproductive health because of um, AIDS funding that has strengthened the health services. Education, um, programs with the teachers that keep teachers alive who are HIV positive, I mean, that's, a, that's another uh, uh, example. And then Something that's very close to my heart is that um, for the first time, money has gone to programs um, that are against violence against women. Um, And uh, something that, of course, existed before there was, we even knew that AIDS was there, but, uh, and that is so fundamental for the spread of uh, of HIV, well, that is now also, we're seeing resources and with, with results. Even within this environment of increased resources and positive trends, Piat says that improved global coordination and integration are needed to improve efficiency. U.S. leadership has been really um, essential in uh, what we're now seeing as a turning point in the response to AIDS. With results, um, other countries have followed in terms of spending. And um, I must say that... um, uh, one of the positive aspects of, of PEPFAR has been not only a better coordination of the U.S. government efforts, CDC and AID and so on, which were not always working together, as I could see in the field. So that's c- happening. But now also um, in uh, quite a few countries, and particularly the ones where there, is, uh, where there are good results, um, the, the PEPFAR effort is now working very closely with us in your needs, with the Global Fund. But there I think that uh, for the next few years we need to do better. Um, 
first we all had to set up systems and so on, but now it's important that it comes together. And that actually um, what's most important is not so much, I would say, that there are agreements at global level between PEPFAR and UNAIDS and the Global Fund, but that on the ground that's where it should happen, that it's much better integrated there. And that uh, um, at the end of the day there should not be parallel systems for the Global Fund or the World Bank or the USAID or PEPFAR, it should be one system that is going to be a national one. To learn more about HIV AIDS, PEPFAR reauthorization, and other critical health challenges, please visit our website at www.wilsoncenter.org backslash global health.